so I'll start by saying if you're looking for a cheap lightweight welder that'll do your basic stick welding then here you go. It's small enough to put in a backpack. The machine ran 330 seconds 7018 right out of the box no problems. 530 seconds is definitely pushing it on a 110 lead. I'm sure the 220 plug-in would be way better off running the bigger wire. The Stinger electrode holder is pretty small and is probably really cheap but hey it works. Other than that I'd say it's a good machine for the low cost. This thing is sweet I bought it after watching reviews on YouTube it really works well was worried about the converter plug but that works also the hammer wire brush combo is lame. I am not a welder just a garage tinkerer. Amazing performance per weight and per dollar. Runs 330 seconds 7018 at about 90 amps like a boss. I am nervous about durability of these inverter machines but I am totally amazed at the capability. If it dies I will try to remember to update my review. Note, I have only run it on 240 volts so far. Runs 1 8, 7018 like a champ. Haven't tried running it on 120 volts yet. Works very well on 240, though. Definitely upgrade the stock ground clamp. I bought this little welder to try to run it off a inverter in my truck but a 3000 watt inverter with 6000 watt surge couldn't handle even striking a arc so I hooked it up to my champion 3800 watt generator and started with a 318 E7018 electrode set at 97 amps and after fighting with the generator too. Next I stepped it up to a 18 E7018 electrode set to 137 amps and it ran it like a champ. Since this is meant to be my lightweight mobile rig to get stuff back to my shop I will have to weld through rust and paint so I tried to use a 18E6011 first at 90 amps but I couldn't get it to start so I went high at 120 amps but that didn't put a good bead down. The generator couldn't keep the power consistent enough to run a good bead with E6011. Household power kept tripping the 15 amp breaker while trying to run 530 seconds E7018 maxed out but it did just fine with 18 E7018 at 135 amps. I did get it to run 530 seconds E7018 on the 30 amp breaker in my shop but it was a little cold. I was able to run every size E6011 and E6013 on the 15 amp breaker. The MIG function is a little weird. The feed is super slow until the wire makes contact with the work and then it will feed at the set speed. As far as I can tell the amps wire feed and the voltage can be set infinitely in it W. 035E71TGS gasless flux core wire. There is a nipple on the back to run solid wire but I don't believe there's a solenoid to stop flow. The welder I received doesn't quite fit in a 5 gallon bucket. The MIG gun fits in the side and you can change the polarity, mine came electrode positive so if you are having trouble welding with flux core try switching polarity. Overall, for a 120V welder under $200 dollars you cannot beat it. I can't think of anything really to complain about, throw away the spool of wire it came with and get some name brand stuff, same goes for electrodes. Your welds will only be as good as your consumables. There's really nothing bad I can say about this little welder, it's light, runs on 120V, welds great. I included a pic of my practice piece, it's about one and a half, thick under those welds, that's some US Forge 186013. And that was on a 20 amp circuit at about 80 amps. It also really likes to run Hobart 6013. I tested the amp output with my Fluke 289 and it's spot on, it doesn't say 120A and only putting out 70. It really puts out 80 when it says 80. I don't have any pictures of MIG but I flux core welded with it a lot and can say it's pretty much great for that too. 0CV is about 60V DC so strikes with MMA is pretty easy, and with wire feed it'll do up to at least 1 8th, plate in a single pass for thin stuff and then you have MMA for basically up to unlimited thickness. 
Click link in description for more reviews. Please click the link below for more information. Please subscribe to my channel for more great products. Please use my affiliate links to support my channel.